Ever marked up a piece of currency? Maybe you had to quickly jot down a phone number or a grocery list. Or maybe you accidentally tore your bill and couldn't get it back together neatly. Are you now scared you might get arrested? If the answer is yes, don't panic. Hi, I'm John, director of the $2 Bill documentary, back again with another video where I answer your questions about the $2 Bill, although this video applies to the $2 Bill as well as other denominations. Remember, if you submit a question to my community page and I make a new video answering it, I'll send you a crisp new $2 Bill, with no writing on it, of course. For this video, YouTuber Connor Toby gets a $2 bill for asking what repercussions may one face if they were to destroy and or vandalize a $2 bill. Well, destroy and vandalize are two very harsh words, so let's start with simply marking up a bill. I first met with Bill Gillers, a treasury employee who worked with the Bureau of Engraving and Printing for nearly 20 years. When I was at the Bureau, we were instructed to tell people that it is illegal to to face U.S. currency. But that's not really the law. I got the real scoop from Ben Cohen, the Ben from Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream. He's the founder of the Stamp Stampede, a movement aimed to eliminate money from politics by encouraging people to stamp his messages onto paper currency, either manually or by inserting it into the Amendomatic stamp machine. This is my concept. Then there was a guy in California who actually got it to actually work. You got a good bill to put through. You got a you got a nice you got a nice two dollar bill to put through here. We're gonna use a two dollar bill because people always look at two dollar bills and it'll be more effective. This is the tower of corrupted power. That's money mouth. He's trying to talk with money. No, it's not illegal. If you read the actual regulations, uh, they state that you can't cut the money, you can't punch holes in it, you can't make it so that it's no longer obviously money or change the denomination, and you can't advertise your business on it. But what we're putting on money is free speech. This is not defacing, this is decorating, this is beautifying. I doubt that the FBI would sweep you up into a sting and you wouldn't be uh, prosecuted, but we certainly didn't encourage people to alter the appearance of U.S. currency. And if you write on it, uh, you are altering the appearance, obviously. But that's not enough to get you in any real trouble. Otherwise, fans and alumni of Clemson University would get busted every year when they stamp orange tiger paws on $2 bills to announce their presence at road football games. Or those who use wheresgeorge.com to track one and $2 bills, who could be getting arrested nearly every day. No, you can mark up a bill, but Ben Cohen was right. According to the Department of the Treasury's official regulations, whoever mutilates, cuts, disfigures, perforates, unites, or cements together, or does any other thing to any bank bill, etc., etc., with intent to render such items unfit to be reissued, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than six months, or both. That's a pretty hefty penalty, but again, the key is whether or not your intent was to render the bill as unfit to be reissued. Either way, though, I wouldn't worry about getting caught. What I would imagine is, with all the crime that is out there, this is penny ante stuff, and the United States has bigger fish to fry than to come after you for covering up George's face with the face of your dog or something like that. Translation, go ahead and mark up your currency if you see fit, but destroy or vandalize your $2 bills, or other denominations for that matter, at your own risk. But look, I don't know why anybody would intentionally vandalize their currency anyway. If you're having those thoughts, just send your money to me. I will take good care of it for you. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and or check out some other great $2 bill content, which is being shown right next to me.